Libra, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Libra? Messages for a sign of Libra, please and thank you. Angel of love in reverse and anxiety in reverse. Okay, let me see. I want to dive into angel of love. I mean, anxiety. So you guys may be thinking like a particular love situation that doesn't turn out the way you were expecting. Um, you may think that this is going to like really tear your, tear your world apart, but you're going to find yourself feeling more relieved. Uh, Lex, Lex. Some of y'all is maybe talking to someone that name is Lexi or Lex, Lex Luther. <laughs> Let me stop playing. But I'm definitely getting like some of y'all is maybe expecting um, the end of a relationship. And whether it's platonic or someone that you are romantically involved with here, Either way, I'm seeing that you will actually be pleasantly surprised that as soon as you release this relationship or this person out of your life, that you'll find yourself feeling less stress, less anxious than you normally uh, would feel if this person is around you. I do want to see Angel of Love in reverse. Okay, let's see. So in reverse, in the reverse position, the angel of love could indicate a possible disconnect in matters of the heart. Again, a relationship doesn't work out, but it's actually going to be, it's actually going to benefit you. And I'm getting like, some of y'all are not expecting that. You're actually thinking that it's going to create a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress in your life, but it's going to be the exact opposite. While this sometimes signifies a divorce or separation, it could also imply an emotional rift where two people stay connected on a superficial basis, yet at a deeper level seems to be going their own way. So some of y'all could have tried to work something out with someone here only to realize that it just wasn't in your best interest. It's not what you're meant to do. In this position, the angel can also refer to an old separation if the longing, longing remains alive in one person's heart. If you find yourself unable to let go, this loving angel is telling you it's time to release any toxic or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. The universe is waiting for you to free to free your heart and open your life to the fully present and honoring love that you so rightly deserve. So look in the mirror and see the angel of love there with you. Know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and others. I'm definitely getting a, a love relationship for some of you guys that may be falling apart. But as soon as this person is out of your life, you'll feel less stressed out. Now, I was guided to go ahead and grab the original tarot uh, for you guys. This is my favorite deck, too. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Please and thank you. Messages for Libra. Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Yes, things turning around for you for the better. And again, with the three of Pentacles in reverse, there's some sort of relationship that is falling apart. And you may feel like you're going to be really disappointed when it does, but it's actually meant to turn your life around for the better. It's actually going to improve your life. Some of y'all may think that it's going to affect your finances, but it's actually going to improve your life once you separate yourself from someone here. What is the issue in this situation for Libra? What's the issue in this situation for Libra? Ace of Cups and the Eight. The Eight. Um, the Eight of Swords here. Someone could want to communicate with you. I 
swear it's never ending with y'all, Libra. I swear it's never ending with y'all with you guys leaving a relationship and there's someone else already here that's wanting a new beginning in love with you. Someone who is definitely interested in you. Someone who's wanting to pour out their heart, but they're all up in their head about this. They could have tried to reach out to you several times or wanted to reach out to you, but they held themselves uh, back out of fear. But I definitely get that there is new love here. Someone who's really interested in you, but they're all up in their head about this because they're not sure if you're interested in them. So they're holding themselves back from reaching out to you or expressing their love. What is the most likely outcome for Libra in this particular situation? What is the most likely outcome? The tower in reverse, holding on to something. Establishing boundaries. Why is the tower in reverse? Why is the tower in reverse? I see you guys holding on to trying to avoid a difficult ending here and holding on to a particular situation. Although you know exactly what you need to do, you know that you need to cut ties with someone here. But with the world here, you may feel like there are still some things that you need to wrap up. But I see you holding on to a particular situation that you are being guided to let go of. To set yourself free of. There is honest communication that is needed in a particular situation. I ultimately see that even though you may try to uh, procrastinate things or you may try to um, not procrastinate things, but procrastinate, um, you may be trying to avoid an ending. I do see ultimately that ending will take place. But there may be things that you need to clear up. You need to set straight before an ending takes place. I do ultimately see you avoiding an ending for some time, though. Give me um, more about this outcome for Libra, please. And thank you. More information about this outcome for Libra. Ultimately, you're going to end up releasing whatever is holding you back, setting yourself free of it because you got the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Fool. The Fool travels lightly. It looks like you will be taking a leap of faith towards something. And whatever you're re releasing, you're taking a leap of faith towards. It is well worth the risk. And I'm definitely getting if you're, you take it serious, you're serious about it, it will pay off for you. But ultimately, I do see an ending taking place. But it's going to make you feel very good and it's going to give you the, uh, give you the freedom to um, explore other things in your life. A lot of happiness here. Feeling lighthearted. But the thing is, I'm getting that you're just avoiding the ending because you don't want to really go through um, everything that comes along with an ending. Especially if you if you've been attached to something for so long, you're really concerned about what's going to happen once you're, once you release this. What is the overall uh, energy, the reading, or I'm sorry, what is your advice for Libra, please? And thank you. What is your advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libra? Your advice is not to allow anyone to deceive you into not taking action towards something. Uh, the King of Wands in reverse is uh, an energy of allowing other people to influence your actions or your decisions. Um, and with the Seven of Swords, there could be some information that is being withheld from you. And 
the inf whatever information, because someone may be coming towards you and they may be telling you or giving you some information, but they're, whatever information they're giving you, they're holding a lot back. They're not being honest, open and honest with you completely here. So it may influence whatever actions you decide to take, or it may influence you taking action at all. But your advice is not to base your actions off of someone else, whatever someone else is telling you, because they may be deceiving you. What is the reason for the reading for Libra, please? And thank you. What is the reason for the reading? They're guiding you towards your true love, someone that's going to make you extremely happy. You may be a content and happy on your own, but you definitely have um, a divine partnership that's coming towards you. And that's what they're guiding you towards, a love that's going to be healing for you. Someone that you'll have an equal give and take relationship with. This is your true love that's coming into your life. You guys may be like, I've accomplished so much on, on my own. I have um, all of this, uh, a lot of great things going on in my life. You guys may feel very happy already. And you may be a little stubborn. But I definitely get like this uh, sweet love that's coming towards you. Someone that you'll have a great connection with. You, you have a wish fulfillment here and it's in the form of true love. Ultimately, that's the reason for your reading. It's that, yeah, they're getting you excited about a new love. There's new love here. This is a love that's going to have you like Feeling overjoyed, extremely excited. You're excited to get someone, get to know someone new here. That's awesome. So you guys may have been feeling a little discouraged about love, new love. Whether someone is actually interested in you or not. And that's why, like, this entire spread is to let you know, yes, something is going to turn out even better than you're expecting. You're expecting the worst out of a particular situation, but it's actually going to turn out even better than you're expecting. You and someone, uh, someone here, you're going to hit it off really well with someone else. I swear, Libras, y'all are so quirky. Y'all are that sign. Y'all are so quirky. I love Libras, male and uh, female Libras. I especially love my September Libras, especially my male September Libras. I love y'all. My son is a September Libra. and Y'all definitely have a tendency to play devil's advocate. Perfect timing. Something is taking place in perfect timing. And it's now. Perfect timing is now. Something that's unstoppable is bound to happen no matter what. Communication is the issue in this particular situation, but you guys will be overcoming whatever barriers there are. Collaborating, sharing. So you guys may be um, sharing your life experiences with someone else that you're falling for. You have Gaia, Mother Earth, inner, out, inner identity, purpose, satisfying. So you'll be really satisfied and happy with whatever this relationship is. Um, your advice is Sagittarius, temperance. So during the winter time, something may be taking place regarding a relationship. Some of you guys may be connecting with a Sagittarius or you have strong Sagittarius placements. You guys are attracting someone who's very optimistic, adventurous, witty. They can be a little restless. They love to travel, very enthusiastic. They're independent as well. They can come across as a little irresponsible and outspoken, 
But I'm definitely getting that you and this person will hit it off very well with one another. They could just be very fiery. They don't have to be a Sagittarius or they just have strong Sagittarius placements. Or it's you. They could be very centric as well. So I'm definitely getting that you guys are doubting that a commitment is going to take place. And that's why they keep um, emphasizing that something is going to turn out even better than you're expecting. So I'm, I'm not even getting that anything needs to be forced in this situation because I'm getting that it's just going to naturally unfold exactly how it's supposed to. I mean, like, yes, everything pretty much does that. But there are times when we, we are meant to be in that yang energy. But I'm getting this situation is a yin type of energy where it's just going to naturally flow into your life. And it's not really much that you have to do about it, that you need to do about it. So... I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.